Hello and welcome back to another mail day video. This is a pretty big one, um, both in size and in monetary value, I think, as far as a, a new release is concerned. And hey, here I am. The guy who said he was not buying any Blu-rays in 2021, but uh, I'll let you in on a secret. There's a Blu-ray update coming pretty soon. And it's so big, it's going to be in six motherfucking parts. So I, I have been buying a few things. And this one, I just, I like the look of it. And I pre-ordered it. And I thought, I'll deal with that when the time comes. And then the time came around so quickly. And I was like, I'm going to keep that pre-order. And I kept it. And it is, as I'm sure you've seen in the in the thumbnail somewhere, in the title of the video, the Arrow Video Battle Royale Limited Edition 4K Ultra HD Box Set Extravaganza Bonanza Bar Mitzvah. This thing is a monster. And of course, Amazon being Amazon, if you saw my Dawn of the Dead 4K unboxing video, you'll, you'll hear that I was sent that very pricey box set in a fucking jiffy bag. But I think, you know, Amazon are going to learn from their mistakes. I sent them a, an email and I, I spoke with them on the chat correspondence after the Dawn of the Dead fiasco. And I said, you guys need to package these limited edition expensive box sets better than you currently are. They said, well, we'll pass that on. <laughs> we'll pass that on to the appropriate people and action will be taken. And this time, when I spent 60 fucking pounds on a expensive collector's edition box set, they sent it to me in a plastic bag. A plastic fucking bag. I, I, I just... Words escape me. I did actually hear that someone had received the Dawn of the Dead set with no packaging, just the box set with like a, the Amazon barcode slapped on the front. So at least it wasn't that bad. Anyway, let's um, let's take a look inside, shall we? I, I kept the bag for dramatic effect. I have in fact actually opened the box set and I've started digging into it. But what I like to do is uh, keep the cellophane on so I can get in on the inside and then I can sell this on for much more than it's worth. Actually, no, I don't care. I, don't like, I like the, the silver and black HDR sticker. It's kind of nice. Um, and maybe I'll use this for a, a thumbnail or, or something. Although I don't know which side the, the mail day thumbnail is, the little letter thing, I don't know. Hey, a thumbnail is a thumbnail. It's, it's never graceful when it's in motion and when you're trying to get the right, you know. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm sure I've got something usable there. There you go. Right, so Battle Royale. I'll take off the... I'll take off the... Uh, see, I was intrigued because I wanted to leave that on. I like the way it looked with the sticker. I don't know. So I'll take that off now. And uh, and have a look at the damage because I have seen that the corners... Oh. Oh. Oh, I'd never seen the back before. That is outstanding. Okay. I'm glad you got my ho oh, oh, on, on on camera. So um, yeah, um, we got a couple of a couple of dents around the corners here, just kind of like crumples and uh, and whatnot. Nothing massive, you know. It's not the worst thing in the world. And I did speak to Amazon, and again, just passed along the word of you sent this in a plastic bag. It ain't it ain't acceptable. But uh, anyway, so this is just a, a massive thing. I'm not going to do an unboxing close look style video because. It's the Arrow Video Battle Royale 4K set. There's been some some opinions about this. Some people are not fond of the fact that Arrow are just releasing films they've released before. I personally think it's worth doing when you're talking about a, literally a jump into another format, which 4K is. Obviously, the difference between Blu-ray and, and 4K Blu-ray is a little bit more imperceptible than the jump from DVD to Blu-ray, but it is a new format nonetheless. It is a higher quality format. Therefore, I think it's worth... Um, chasing, you know, going down that avenue, and I understand why people are frustrated, but I saw this, I thought the cover looked gorgeous, I absolutely love this cover, um, I love the spine, you know, the blood splatters, and, and the back, oh, you get all of the, um, not sure if it's all of them, well, let's see, how many we got across each, surely that must be the whole entire, yeah, class 3B, year 2001, so that's just fantastic. Very, very cool. So, you know, you, you can probably go online and see. With my Dawn of the Dead unboxing, I didn't really do an unboxing because everyone was talking about it. Everyone was doing an unboxing. If you want to see this in, in all its glory, then you can check out the, uh, you know, YouTube. <laughs> and you'll see plenty of them. I just wanted to do a mail day talking about this. 
why I bought it. And then we're going to have two videos following this, which will be my thoughts on the two films presented in the box set. So first of all, there's the kind of... And I love that it's all digipacks, and it's kind of like the, for me, the collector's dream when it comes to stuff like this. You get the nice harder outer box, and inside you have the nice kind of elegant digipacks. Criterion gets it wrong in that they do the nice, elegant, fancy digipacks, but they do um, flimsy outer packaging, which always gets dented um, in transit and does, doesn't fare well over time. Um, so I think it was maybe Indicator who might have taken the first leap into doing the harder outer box with a nice, elegant digipack cardboard sleeves on the inside. It's just, it's just the perfect marriage of really nice, classy packaging. Now, let's take a look at the... Uh, the back cover here, and I'll tell you a few things that are in the box set and why it swayed me to pick it up for the fairly, you know, not cheap price point, which was £60. So you get five discs, so you get the, the original film, Battle Royale from 2000, in 4K, the original theatrical version. Um, you then get the, the special edition director's cut, also in 4K. Then you get the sequel, Battle Royale 2 Requiem from 2003. And then you get a fourth disc, um, which is Battle Royale 2 Revenge, which is the special edition version, I, su I suppose. And then finally, disc five, you get the soundtrack to the original movie. So the sequel is not in 4K, but the, the two cuts of the original film are. Now, I already own this film, also from Arrow Video. This is, I think, the 2012 release. I think this is when this one came out. I might be incorrect on that one, but um, it was around that time. And it's the, the classic Arrow Video window box style, the white slipcase. Very, very nice addition. That this, this thing is so packed, I had to take something out and put it in a drawer somewhere. I think it was like a really thick booklet or a poster. And I had to just take it out because it was impossible to pull the thing out. But you get that awesome thing they used to do where you have the window box there and you have four different choices of artwork that you can do the reversible thing with and everything. You get three discs. There's a booklet in there as well. So I think it was a comic book even. There was just all sorts in here. And you get, um, I think, yeah, two Blu-rays, the director's cut and the regular edition, and then a DVD of all the, the special features. So this is a phenomenal release. But it's really interesting because I think that the, the way that Blu-rays and the boutique market in, in specifics, I, I would say, there are some studios that do it, and what really jumps to mind immediately is The Terminator, which obviously wasn't a boutique label release, but that was a film that got a new remaster on Blu-ray that looked fucking incredible. But, you know, when this came out in the beginning of the 2010s, it just things were different. You know, it's about 10 years ago now. These days, you know, you, you're looking for 2K remaster, you're looking for 4K restoration, you're looking for a Blu-ray transfer that is from the best possible elements. This, you know, I mean, what's it say here? Just theatrical cut of the movie. Brand new restored transfer in glorious high definition 1080p. Which, you know, back then looked incredible compared to the DVD. But in watching the 4K of Val Royale and then popping in this Blu-ray, the 2012 Blu-ray, or whenever it came out about 10 years ago, um, on my PlayStation and doing a quick A-B test, it's like... It's kind of like night and day, and Connie was like, it just looks darker. <laughs> she didn't have her glasses on, but she's like, it just looks darker. And it does look darker. There, it is a much darker look, but the, the finer details, you know, it just brings out so much. And what just, just in popping in this Blu-ray on the PlayStation after watching the 4K, just watching it for a little bit going, wow, this, this looks fairly ropey. You know, it's a bit overblown. It's a bit too bright at times, you know, almost to its detriment and, uh, you know, you can kind of see it's not the crispest, you know, and there's not a lot of grain. Well, there's, there's grain there, but it just, it's not a great Blu-ray transfer, you know. But, you know, back then, would you have ever really thought it? I certainly wouldn't have, and it's taken me 10 years of watching Blu-rays to really, I don't know, analyze the way they look and stuff. And I still am nowhere near an expert, but there is a, a difference. And um, so for me, it's a huge upgrade over the, the original Blu-ray. And I'm just looking at the back here. I don't think I would really... I think most of the special features, if not all of them, have been ported over from this release onto the new 4K release. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you a quick look at the inside, because I do like the, the look of um, the inside sleeve, so to speak. But I haven't really fully dived into this set yet, but there's loads to, to dig through. And I love just the artwork style that they've, they've gone for with this. Let me just put this down here. First of all, I'll just show you this book. I mean, this is a hardcover book, that iconic image of the girl from the beginning of the film. 
Uh, and this is just like, a, I think it's over 100, 120 pages, something like that. Yeah, about 120 pages long. And it is by Tom Mez. And it is a huge, uh, they call it a monograph on the director of the film. And I've <laughs> forgotten his name um, because his son um, finished the second film. So I forget who is who. I'm not a big expert on the family. Um, it should say at the front here. If I, uh, yeah, Kin Kinji Fukasaku. So I think it was Kenta Fukasaku who, who finished and completed and directed the sequel, uh, Requiem. So yeah, so if you're interested in the director, that's a you know, massive resource there. A nice actual like 100 plus page book. And I just bang my elbow on the corner like I've done before, but it didn't hurt that time. So you get no action replay on that one. I haven't opened this yet. I don't know if I even want to because I feel like it's going to warp the packaging, but you get these um, Trump cards. Not Donald Trump cards. So this is um, Kitano on the front there. I just love this, you know, and you get the uh, the island on the back and you get his kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to open this up. Again, if you want to see it, you can see it elsewhere and stuff, but I like that it, it kind of... It's a packet of cards. I guess it's meant to be like trading cards and stuff, but they've, they've put it on the spine. So it almost looks like a Blu-ray. So it, it slides in very nicely with the rest of the, the packaging. So let's try and flip this around and go chronologically. So we have Battle Royale from 2000. And you get uh, Kawada on the back there. On the inside, you get a nice booklet. So again, you get the book, but then you also get the booklet there. And uh, the original theatrical version uh, in 4K. And I think that there are faces on the insides of all of these too, which is really, really nice. And while I'm doing this, I should say, I'll, I'll talk about it more in the the upcoming videos about the, the first two films. Well, the only two films, when I'll do separate kind of reviews of them and stuff. You know, Battle Royale for me, very briefly, was a formative film. Um, it's not like one of my favorite films of all time, but it's a very special film to me, and I'll get I'll get into that in the the next video where I'll talk about the film. Uh, so this one is the special edition director's cut. Oh, beautiful artwork there, absolutely gorgeous. On the back you get uh, Yumiko. I would have thought they'd put a more you know central character on the back there. You get a poster on the inside of this one, and again it is 4K with the uh, special edition director's cut. I I watched the theatrical cut for for this viewing. And uh, I'm intrigued to go back now and see the special edition. Uh, this is Battle Royale 2 Requiem. Really cool. I mean, you know, it's Battle Royale 2. I'll get into it. But I think that's a really badass cover. And I think that uh, Shuya looks fucking badass. And on the back, uh, you do get uh, the, the group Wild 7. And I think it says, uh, <laughs> this time it's war which is the tagline to Aliens. I don't know if that was the tagline for the film, whether that's an, an Easter egg or something. And I'm not actually entirely sure if the islands um, are different. Oh, they are. That's really cool. I like that. So you get the island from the first film, and then there you get the island from the second film. I wasn't sure. When I first got the set, I thought they just they put the same artwork on the back and just changed the characters, but they clearly have, have gone that extra mile um, to put in the detail. So this is, a, this, this is tricky with this one because it's... Uh, Actually, I didn't show you the inside of the sequel, I don't think. Maybe I did? I don't know. It's, uh, there you go. Very nice. I'm kind of going into it now, aren't I? But I didn't want to do like a, a look down, a, a top down view, like I did with the um, the John Ford silent films thing. Because who's really doing unboxings of that John Ford set? No one, you know? So it's, yeah, I'm trying to pick and choose things. Uh, pick and choose things here. Yes. All right, we're all fine here now. How are you? So this one is the Revenge Special Edition Director's Cut of Battle Royale 2. Really cool looking character, but again, you know, I don't know. Uh, so this is uh, Saki Sakurai on the back. On the inside there, you get the uh, the Kitano character. So those are the, the four um, film discs. And then you get a really cool one here that's an image from the first film. Very, very cool. Ah, okay, but this makes sense. So on the back, you get Shuya and Noriko. So the two kind of more central characters of the film. So that's like a nice thing to tie it all together. 42 students, three days, one survivor, no rules. And this is the soundtrack. Very nice. And uh, I think that's, um, what's her name? Gogo from Kill Bill. I've, I, I have not memorized the actress's name. So there we go. That is the Battle Royale set. I'll try and... 
Actually, I won't slide this all back in now because it'll take a while. But I'm hugely satisfied with this after having watched the sequel now for the first time, seeing how great the film looked in 4K. I mean, just you don't really think about Battle Royale being very colorful, but some of the greens on the island really pop. And I just thought it looked great. And it was so much fun to revisit the film. I really enjoyed it. I'll talk about that more in the next video. But um, for me, this is a winner of a release. It really, really is. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And there's so many extras. I guess I should list off some of those because there are new extras. And I know that Arrow did like a re-release of Battle Royale. That might be where some of the the ill will is coming from, that they keep re-releasing this film. But I think when it's like a definitive set like this and you can release the film in 4K... Um, I think that it's it's worth doing, I think. So there's a brand new audio commentary by critic Tom Mez, who wrote the, the monograph book, and Jasper Sharp. Uh, an exclusive new 42-minute documentary about the legacy of the film called Battle Royale at 20, Back to School. A brand new exclusive interview with the film's producer and screenwriter Kenta Fukusaku, uh, called Bloody Education. Uh, and then we have, I believe, kind of the special features that were included on previous releases. And that's probably the same with the second disc, which has a ton of special features as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything new on the special edition of the first film in terms of extras by the looks of it. Um, the third disc with Battle Royale 2, we have a new brand new interview with the, the director and screenwriter of the film, Bloody Graduation with Kenta Fukusaku. Um, behind the scenes um, stuff again, which is probably... I'm assuming, well, I don't know. I don't know if Arrow Video's ever released Battle Royale 2 previously, but it seems like it's, that's the only thing. It's just one new exclusive extra for the sequel. And then likewise with the Battle Royale 2 Revenge Blu-ray, there's a couple of special features. None of them are exclusive, but they've really clearly gone all in on, uh, you know, putting together a really nice, you know, package in terms of like the, you know, putting in the soundtrack CD, the poster, the booklet, the book, there's a ton of stuff in this, and I think that it's um, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm really thrilled with this, really happy with it. I loved revisiting the film. I'm glad that I've seen the sequel. I'll say that much. And uh, it's, it's a, very, a very cool addition to my collection, I think. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if you've, if you've got this box set, if you're thinking about it. I think that it's already sold out on the Arrow website. Uh, and that's another thing. It's, it's the limited edition curse. You know, you got to get in there while you can. And there are some, some that I just... You know, I miss out on because I don't. Not that I don't have the money, but I feel like I, I shouldn't be getting that right now. But this was one where I felt like a special case for me because it's a film that's um, so influential. It's a film that was very special to me and is very special to me. And revisiting it just reaffirmed that. So I'll talk about that more in the, the next couple of videos where I kind of talk about um, Battle Royale and Battle Royale Two in episodes of Conquering My Collection. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Then I'll see you then. <laughs> I usually end with, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And I kind of fucked up the uh, the flow, the natural flow of the end of my videos. Yeah, see ya. Hey, you're all right by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans of Carlin into a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> but he's not quite as cool as you. Because... <laughs>